All of this happened 35 years ago, so I think I'm safe in editorializing a bit here and calling this the absolute dumbest tradition in the history of the Indianapolis 500-mile race. And anyone who actually misses this is, well... That goes without saying. You may have seen our previous Throwback Thursday on what people who had plenty of dough to spend on beer, but apparently not enough to pay to park outside IMS, try to win what they called the North 40 Dash. What was it? WRTV's Cy Jenkins explains. <laughs> It's the race fan tradition that's had police and speedway officials scurrying out of the way for at least a dozen years. It's the head of the field, and then when the track opens at 6 o'clock, come race day morning, it's the first one down through the tunnel, and the first one in the turn three, the first one in the turn four. They try for turn one on the inside. Who knows? All we know is that it's chaos every year. After the chaotic crashes of 1986, the track decided that in 87, it was time for the North 40 dash to go. Cy Jenkins put on the short sleeve dress shirt and tie to be the bearer of the bad news. But it's a tradition that may have ended with the posting of a new sign at the main gate of the North 40. Race fans will now have to pay to get into the parking lot one vehicle at a time. And to prevent any premature gate crashing, Speedway authorities tonight took some extraordinary measures. And I see this boy change worse and worse every damn year. There was some brief talk about an assault on the fence, which is not unprecedented in the long tradition of the North 40 Dash. Hmm, guess building the wall is not a good idea sometimes. Today, getting to the track on race day takes a lot of time. In exchange, though, no chaos and no overturned jalopies. Not a bad trade, some say. Working for you with Throwback Thursday, Ray Steele, WRTV.